What can we expect after Flight 5? Most likely the goal will be to catch both stages during the next flight. Following that, SpaceX may attempt a similar mission with an even larger and more powerful version of Starship. Then, many long-distance journeys lie ahead. To achieve this, SpaceX will likely need a new, stronger launch pad capable of supporting the future of the Starship project and humanity's exploration of space. Recognizing this, Elon Musk made a bold announcement about the future of the launch pad, promising an incredible foundation for Starship to launch and return safely. So, what exactly did Elon Musk reveal? How will this vision become a reality? Let's find out as we dive into today's episode of Great SpaceX. During the recent flight, we saw that the launch system functioned effectively, particularly the chopstick mechanism, which successfully caught Super Heavy. The system once again demonstrated its reliability in assisting Starship's ascent. The water deluge system also performed well, reducing heat and pressure to protect the launch pad from damage. Other systems, like the Orbital Launch Mount, or OLM for short, and ShipQD, didn't report any serious issues. However, post-launch images showed that the OLM legs and protective wall were still scorched. This occurred during previous launches as well, so it's not a major concern. This level of performance is remarkable, especially when considering the immense power generated by Starship. With 33 Raptor engines in the Super Heavy booster, the maximum liftoff thrust reaches 7,590 tons, twice the power of NASA's legendary Saturn V, which had a liftoff thrust of around 3,722 tons. But that's not all coming from SpaceX. They aim to create launch pads with even greater capabilities. Recently, Musk announced the new launch pad is already designed for the 10 000 ton thrust version, which is nearly three times more powerful than the Saturn V moon rocket. Yes, you heard that right. SpaceX plans to develop a Starship version that is three times stronger than Saturn V. This brings us to the need for a more robust launch pad, likely starting with Launch Pad B, which SpaceX is currently building. Unlike Pad A, Pad B will feature significant changes to the OLM and the system beneath it. The new OLM is expected to be a mobile system with a square structure, making refurbishment easier and allowing for quick replacement if needed, ensuring continuous launch operations. The main focus will be on the flame trench system installed below. Unlike the hexagonal steel plate used in Pad A, water-cooled steel plates won't be suitable for the new OLM system, especially since they've shown wear after only a few flights. In contrast, the flame trench system has demonstrated superior efficiency as seen during tests at the Massey test site. A system that directs heat and pressure away from the pad seems far more effective than one that simply absorbs it. With these advantages in mind, SpaceX will continue refining its systems. Beyond optimizing design, they'll likely need to use more durable materials. The current concrete and steel frame may not withstand long-term use, or they may introduce a secondary protective layer for the flame trench that can be easily replaced if damaged. Feel free to share your own ideas in the comments section down below. As Musk has revealed, the new Starship will require a completely revamped engine to achieve over 10,000 tons of thrust. Each Raptor engine will need to reach 330 tons of thrust. With 33 engines, this version could produce up to 10,890 tons of thrust, surpassing the target. However, SpaceX will probably have to increase it in steady increments. The first significant milestone in SpaceX's development journey will be the debut of Starship V2, which will feature the newly introduced Raptor 3 engines. 
These engines, unveiled only a few months ago, boast an impressive 280 tons of thrust at sea level. With this increased power, Starship V2 is projected to achieve a maximum liftoff thrust of approximately 9,240 tons. However, during a recent presentation at Starbase, SpaceX quoted the V2's thrust at around 8,240 tons, likely due to the engines operating below full capacity during initial launches to prioritize safety and performance reliability. This reduction is typical for early stage tests to ensure stable and controlled operations. Looking toward the future, there's already speculation about the development of Starship Vi-3, which could push the performance envelope even further. Musk has hinted that this version could potentially reach a groundbreaking 10,000 tons of thrust. Achieving this would likely require more than just increasing the number of engines. It suggests the possible development of an entirely new propulsion system or substantial upgrades to the existing Raptor engines. While the Raptor 3 offers significant improvements, reaching 10,000 tons of thrust would demand major design modifications or an entirely new engine to handle the extreme power output. Musk's comments may be an early indication of SpaceX's plans to create the next generation of propulsion technology. SpaceX is progressing rapidly with the Starship V2 prototypes, with the S-33 nearly complete and the S-34 nose cone already spotted at Mega Bay 2. These prototypes are expected to be part of upcoming test flights, likely Flight 8, which could launch early next year. As for the 10 ton thrust version, its timeline remains unclear. Developing such a powerful starship will require significant advancements in engine technology, materials, and infrastructure. While no schedule is confirmed, the V3 starship could play a key role in SpaceX's long-term plans for interplanetary missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. But everything will be very rushed, and SpaceX will need to prepare the launch system before these versions are created. At this time, Launch Tower B has completed construction. SpaceX will certainly accelerate the construction of the OLM and flame trench for this launch pad in the near future. The deadline for the system's construction will be January 25th of next year, which seems to correspond well with the launch schedule of Starship V2. After completing construction, this launch pad will have a few months of preparation before being used for the first V2 launch. Once successful, SpaceX may improve the launch pad to meet the 10 ton thrust version that Musk mentioned. Additionally, we cannot forget to mention the existing system in Florida. The OLM at Launchpad Florida was decommissioned a few months ago, and it'll probably soon be replaced by a new, stronger system, like Launchpad B. It makes sense, as SpaceX has outlined a launch plan for Florida. In this plan, the upgraded Starship will stand 150 meters tall, with a thrust of 103 mega or 10,500 tons. This likely explains why the old system is no longer suitable and a new system is required. Currently, SpaceX is progressing rapidly with its launch pad construction. Seeing how the launch tower was built in just a month, although the new OLM system may take more time, once SpaceX gains more experience, construction speeds will likely increase at future launch pads. This is also the time for SpaceX to consider building multiple strong launch towers. As development advances, both Starbase and the launch sites will need to expand. More towers will be necessary to support a growing number of launches, with a goal of 25 flights in the next few years and potentially thousands in the more distant future. Catching missions will also increase, with both Starship and Super Heavy requiring multiple launch pads. This expansion won't be limited to Starbase. Florida will also need to grow, as one tower may not be enough to support 
the planned frequency of up to 44 Starship flights per year, with more expected in the future. The future of more powerful launch pads is approaching quickly. Are you ready for it? Comment, let's do it, to encourage SpaceX to make it happen. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's development journey. This will form the crucial foundation for the significant journey Starship will undertake in the future.